Hello, everybody. I'm your ghost with the most and your fabulous host, Luke, here. And today... Oh, fuck oh, shit. I forgot about you. I can't even try to get her clothes. I have a fucking forget about me. Now that I think about it, you've been in there for almost a year. I really need to hire an exorcist to get rid of you. Wait, that's why you came to- I don't care, I'm getting an exorcist. So you're the exorcist? Yep. Huh. You're a lot more wet than I thought you would be. Wait, that didn't- that didn't come out right. I didn't come out right either. Eh, uh, okay, but you are an exorcist, right? Legally? No. Good enough for me. I will be in the other room making a video if you need me. So where was I? Oh yes, another gay movie. So I was a horny lad one day and I found this movie trailer. I was intrigued. As a bisexual myself, I am all for a movie about seeing gay guys being gay. However, let's just say I got a lot more than I bargained for with this movie. So this movie, it's wild, man. Like, I got some gay in me, but this movie made my brain short circuit. I was really into it and horny for the first 30 minutes, and then for the rest of the runtime, I felt like I was malfunctioning, but like, I liked the movie. I, I think. It's so hard to describe this movie. The entire thing feels like a fever dream. This movie made me turn off the gay part of my brain for 24 hours. The movie is about four gay guys who try to get laid before the end of the summer. That's it, that, that, that's the plot. Oh, and one of the guys got his own magic show, you know, the Carbonara Effect. That's one of the guys that, 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 that is all I have to say about the characters in this movie. Now, is this movie bad? Well, I, um, I don't, I don't know, honestly. The entire movie feels like a really gay dumpster fire, but I can't call it bad, or at least I don't, I don't think I can. The movie does have some genuinely hilarious jokes in it, though. It's not working. Do something. What are you doing? Give me some of that. I mean, let me try. I'm not going to lose another one. His bell's too tight. He's not breathing. Get some air in there. Oh, good Lord. It's time for defrib. Lube, lube. Plan B, lube. Three, two, one. Clear. Three, two, clear. Motherfucker. Holy shit, it worked. All four of the main characters have different personalities, which shows that not all gay people are your stereotypical gays. Although stereotypical gays do definitely exist, I would know I've met plenty. You, both of you, oh, both yeah. of you need- Why did you rec- yeah, he can hear you. Alright, penis. You rec- you recorded you You're saying like that. Penis, 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 penis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You think I care? I'm in China. He's a rebel. Penis. 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 You people need mental help. Wolf, what, what's the wolf? What's it like to be gay? Your mom. Fuck you. No problem. How much- I'm putting this in a YouTube video. <laughs> there are a lot of scenes in this movie I could talk about, but I feel like it's not really necessary when I can just talk about the first scene in the movie, which is basically what the entire rest of the movie is like. The first scene of the movie is this guy stealing his mom's groceries to use them to masturbate by putting everything in his ass. That's, that's basically what the entire movie is like. This movie has a sequel and I haven't watched it because quite frankly, I'm scared to. This video is really short, and that's because I don't have a lot to say about this movie because it just leaves me so speechless, and I can't even say if it's good or not. It's just, this movie is just, it's an enigma. If you want to watch it, you can, but, like, it'll probably break you. Probably. Oh, I should probably go check on the exorcism. So, how's it going? I'm done. Really? That was only like two minutes. It was that easy? You did it that fast? I kind of just opened the door and politely asked him to leave. And, and that worked? 
Yeah. Well, that's a very anticlimactic ending to this story arc. I'm sorry, man, but not every ending is interesting. No, you're just not interesting. Hey, isn't that monocle made of plastic? Get the fuck out of my house.